Hi, this is The Farming Sims. I'm on east of Vinland, New Jersey with our supply chain crisis challenge. We have made it through winter. It is now spring. Uh, it's a couple of days into uh, the new year of planting. And uh, the map uh, basically plants all of the fields themselves leaving us a whole heap of uh, fertilizing contracts that that come in in March along with a few weeding contracts. Uh, I've been busy on the first couple of days of the month. Uh, not fit for recording though. I've so, already bought a new vehicle. Uh, I was looking all, all through winter for um, a new baler. And it did pop up. It popped up yesterday in the store and uh, I snatched it up real quick. Cost me $43,000 second hand. Um, the sold vehicle there is a is our bail, our, our impress. Actually still carried a half decent value to be honest. Contract income for November was the last couple of uh, harvests for the year and Probably a cultivating contract or two, probably, but it wasn't much. March, 82,000. That is all fertilizing and weeding contracts. It wasn't a lot of weeding because it's just the the wheat, barley, and canola that was planted early in the year. Um, uh, sorry, before winter. That was in the ground over winter. Straight away came up with... Uh, their second fertilizing state, I think, in on most cases, and a weeding contract. Um, so anything that was already in the ground wanted fertilizing, and uh, I believe anything that was planted wanted fertilizing. To be honest, we are currently sitting on thirty-three thousand dollars, with only two hundred thousand dollars of the loan to be repaid. I'm not sure whether you noticed, but here is our brand new piece of equipment on the farm. Case International Quick Baler. Not sure that actually exists, but it does on our farm. Um, yeah, I really needed something to, to just speed up the process a little. Um, the stopping um, is the issue. Um, so just being able to run through, having that extra extra ability to just um to fast bail to to continue bailing um and not and not drop them as you uh, stop as you drop them um it doesn't really apply to speed though i mean it is listed as a 25 kilometer an hour um bail up but once it starts uh feeding in our 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 swaths it it can't run at that speed it runs at 15 kilometers an hour i believe uh, maybe a little bit higher. It depends on how good your swaths are. But I have been told about 15, maybe even 17 kilometers an hour on, on smaller swaths. I probably don't have a screenshot of this map. I may have. If I have a screenshot of this map before winter, it was fairly empty. And what you can see here is that it's almost all double fertilized. Now, each of those fields with um weeds on them they are obviously fields that have not been planted yet so that's just weeds in a cultivated field i can test that theory by switching weeds off and on so there's no fertilizer underneath any of those weeds for one and if i bounce between crop um, well here yeah they're all they're all cultivated fields if i bounce in between or this way I can bounce and say they're empty fields. Yes, they are empty fields. There, there was a ton of fertilizing done by the AI. Uh, I don't go around and do all of those fields, obviously. Uh, you'd have to be on 24 seven, by the way, to be a, you'd need a player on um, 24 seven, at least one player in a full cycle to hit all of those contracts. That's That would be the only way to get them all. 
I might end this episode with a little bit of a time lapse of a grass cut here on the main farm. I thank you very much for watching.